Has had possession early on. Raul Udi away to Tanavili. And a charge from Goya Maboli. The big number eight forward from Fiji. They've turned the ball over though on the 10 metre line. And the All Blacks have a great opportunity as Marshall spreads it away. Spencer's going to change the direction. Rocker Foco flying down the left wing side. Gets a bounce and he's in. Joe Rocker Foco. What a staggering start. Well, absolutely outstanding. Marty Holler at the breakdown. I think he's the guy who stole the ball. We thought that Spencer might go for a few high kicks to put them under pressure. Well, he's done that very early. It was a very, very mean bounce for the Pacific Islanders. Here you can just see the turnover. Look at Marty Holler. Up and down. He got it very cleanly. Also, it was very quick ball. That was important. So the Islanders didn't have a chance to get their defence organised. Shocking bounce for them. Rokosoko. Rush gets up to make the tackle. Now Tanavili in by. Chance for Rambini driving him towards the line. And yes, he's there. Boy, that's a great try. Sarah Rambini. What a reply. How many phases? 15 or so. I thought the All Blacks had them covered. It was great defence. It was gang tackling in the midfield. But Felici, I guess he started when he got over the advantage line. He ran like a back. And that just put the All Blacks defence in sixes and sevens. This is early on. Now look at this. He had a player inside him. And I think the All Blacks hung off him because he thought they were going to give the pass. He said, no way, I'm going all the way. They got a bit of quick ball here, the Islanders. And that was enough to put him in a bit of two minds as a defence. You can just see Spencer and co. stood up there on the angle. Marshall's the only player there, driven over the line. They're in front of the last feet. Marshall's taking it quickly. Muli Aina. Muli Aina still Cross stepping. Back. Marshall blindside must go in surely. And Justin Marshall, with all his strength, forces his way across. Another feet. try for Justin Marshall, his 24th in Test Rugby. He did very well. He finished it, but he also started. He had the vision to take the quick tap. So a lot of grinding play from the All Blacks against the Islanders. Conceding penalties at Ruck and Mall time for being in front of the last feet a couple of times. Dickinson Fires it off to Carter. Trying to get it in behind uh, Lomi Fa'atau. Sends it wide to Sivivatu. Boy, there's some pace in this team. Now Lawaki confronted by Rush. Got away from Xavier Rush. Sivivatu's looming. If he gets the pass, he's gone. He has got it. The kick from Carter. Bit of pressure on Fartel. He did the right thing. He kept cool this time. Got his hands on the ball. Gave it to this man now. But Luaki's the guy who did all the damage. Look at this. Here it starts. Good pressure on him. But they've got lots of space here. You can just see not a lot of numbers. Good vision from Sivivadu. Gee, Xavier Rush stood up and lost. Marty Holler couldn't keep up with the pace. Didn't matter for Spencer. It was academic. What? Give these guys an inch and they'll take it. Now Carlos Spencer flicks it back to his skipper, Umanga. Powerful charge. Marshall sees a gap right up the middle. Now, where's the support? Flicks it to Rockafoco. But he uh, was overtaken. He had to stop and get the ball. But here's an opportunity out wide for the All Blacks. And it's going to be Rico Gear on debut. And that's a popular try at North Harbour Stadium. Yes, he had a lot of injury problems, Rico Gear. Got all the attributes, he's got pace, he can pass the ball very well, can play centre on the end of the chain. Came from Marshall, the break, straight up the middle. Look at this, no one home. Rokothoko on the inside. Normally it's good night, Nurse. Lima got him, but then it was very quick ball again. Robinson does well. Vision, they had all the numbers. It was just getting it out as wide as they could. They tried to knock Milioina over, they couldn't do that. Rico Gear under the post. Well, the All Blacks are in 15, please. Mialamu lobs it towards the back. It's uh, untidy. They might have uh, salvaged something out of this. Yes, they have. It's with uh, Carl Heyman. No. 
Now it's in fact Kai's news. Kai's attackers are split off. Still controlled. Looks like it's at the back of the mall. Now the All Blacks. And Muse is over. A tenth test try for Case Muse. Yeah, great try. Good work. I think even Spencer and Co. went in there at the end. We saw Australia last week against the Pacific Islanders do this once or twice. It was pretty unsteady from the line, initial line out, but then they regrouped. Good combination. You can just see them all binding up there. There's Spencer in. Use that close. Very hard for Tanavili. Good try. A big pat on the back. Uh, Drake Ujono gives the line. Yeah, my Baldy, the number eight, makes a bit of ground forward. Now they're going to, if they can move this quickly, they've got a few extras. And they've got pace too. Here is uh, Rawonga, the uh, lock forward, puts the kick in, Sivi Batu, oh he came from nowhere, unbelievable. Oh well, and made it look so easy, look it's just a training run he's saying, Luaki was up there, came from a Mialamu, had the ball way back in the uh, Islanders 22, someone slapped it down out of his hand, so it was a knock forward from him, and then they just had it, very yeah, flat pass, Lima pass. put him in space. But I thought the All Blacks had him covered here. I don't think they actually thought that the Islanders were going to kick that one. Time out. They're not great kickers off. The ball. Advice yeah, for the touch to judge too. You might hold. have seen uh, Johnny Gibbs that'll that'll Black. having a good chat no, with the touch judge. There. Engage! Oh, Aki's got himself a mile offside, surely. They continues though, now Carter. Here's the All Blacks with a chance wide to Rocka Foco. Beautiful pass from Rico Gear and Flying Joe does it again. Very, very simple try from the All Blacks. Well executed. Ireland, the backline just did not match up at all. You can just see the numbers here. So they had too many players in close. You can just see three players. Tana Umanga was a decoy and he sucked them in. No one saw Joe on the outside. He just tiptoed down the sideline. He All Blacks uh, playing one off at the moment as uh, John o Gibbs bounces away and round a few. Big defence on John o Gibbs. Nah, Ball isn't quite out yet, although Marshall did get his hand on it. What's going on here? Play on, play on. Play on. Here's Lowaki. Lowaki's going to do it himself. Goodness gracious. Well, I don't know. The referee was confused, so were the players. And in the end, Sione Lauaki has sprinted 50 metres to score another try. Well, I'm just wondering, when Marshall touched the ball, Lauaki came over to get the ball, he didn't get it. Just watch here. So Marshall says, oh, I'll just touch it there, thank you very much. Lauaki came in, Marshall went for the penalty. I don't know whether the referee was looking at that stage. Then a foot came over and a hand. Lauaki, you've got to say, he wasn't probably onside then. Referee thought it was okay. Stood Marshall up just so easily, and it was almost just in slow motion, wasn't it? Sivi Vardu, well, he had to stop. He was... Final act of the game as Rush moves it off to his left. Spencer, Carter holds it up. The captain is going to go in. He made the call, and he finishes it with a try. Tanarumanga. Well done, excellent, good captaincy. A lot of things haven't gone quite right for them. Spencer hit it flat. They just had too many numbers. It's so all the All Blacks win it by 15. Umanga finishes with a try. But the Pacific Islands really have covered themselves in glory here tonight. A wonderful performance from them. The All Blacks have had to fight the full 80. And they've got home in the end by 14.